I've just got home from a Vipassana 10-day meditation course and I just wanted to share with you uh, my experience of that in relation to my art practice and why I chose Vipassana as a means of doing meditation. But before, I'd like to just describe where I'm at here. Behind me is a a bog lake at the top of a mountain. It's a flat-topped mountain. Um, it's got blanket bog and a lot of exposed rock. The blanket bog is made up of sphagnum moss, as we can see here, and these heathers. And in the next couple of months, this heathers will come into a beautiful soft purple bloom, and the whole mountain top will be covered with this wonderful purple hue. The lake is very dark because of runoff from the bog and iron in the soil, which makes it a very black colour. It's a very peaceful spot. In the background you can hear what I think is a meadow pipit, as far as my memory serves me. Um, on the way up I met some woodcock and of course the obligatory sheep. Uh, there was a pair of ravens here a moment ago, hanging around just before I got here. And I have come up here and seen hen harrier and plover, and even a flock of gulls nesting on the, this lake here, in just across the brow of the hill from here, is a small island in the middle of the lake constructed of rocks. It's only about 20 feet in diameter, but a flock of gulls regularly nests here, uh, up to about a hundred gulls. What a beautiful spot to bring up their young. Today is perfect, it's, there's a very light breeze and a nice warm sun. If I was to stand up from this point and look out to my right, I would be looking out into County Mayo, and behind me I would be looking up towards Sligo and County Donegal, and over to my left I would be looking into County Fermanagh and County Cavan, and in front of me, down into South Leitrim. So that's this beautiful place. I come here very often, and I wanted to share my experience from this beautiful place with you. Why did I choose Vipassana from my art practice? Up until about a year and a half ago, I was receiving an idea, and with that idea I would let it sit in my head and I would work it over and over and over from weeks to months to a year even before I would produce a piece. And there was an awful lot of me in the piece. I mean I received a pure idea but then I attached so much of me into that idea and it f I found it became very laborious and very tedious and very draining to have to put so much into a piece when I could, I, I felt I could be leaving it a little more pure. And about a year and a half ago, I started receiving a completed image of, of particularly my paintings, a completed, finished work in my head. In an instant, I would receive that image. And for the first while, I, I just let the, the image pass through me and I, I made mo no, no more contact with it. And then I decided I, I need to do something about this. So from then on, every image I, I received, I immediately made a sketch of that image, including the colors, the percentages of different colors to, to construct that particular color. I included its form, its scale, the interrelationship of the colors, the interrelationship of the shapes to produce the work. So that when I came to the point of actually going to the process of making the finished canvas, I was free. I was free of the attachment to the finished image. I was able to meditate through that process and not be concerned about how the picture was going to turn out because I already had received that completed image and I knew where it was going. So I was able to just relax and meditate through that process to the completed work. 
And then I started questioning how I was allowing myself to do this and why and where these images were coming from in particular. So I thought possibly meditation might be a way of bringing myself to the place where these images were coming from because they were certainly coming from somewhere not of my conscious mind. They were coming from subconscious or maybe even non-conscious mind. So looking at various meditation practices I found that too many of them for me were attached too rigorously to the intellectual mind. What I mean is that the technique of getting into a meditative state was attaching your mind to a mantra, a number, a color, a shape, a light, some something that the intellectual mind connects with throughout our daily lives. And I wanted to get away from that. I wanted to go away from anything that was intellectual, but to go deeper purely to sensation, to feeling, to energy. And my research directed me through to Vipassana. So I enrolled myself on a Vipassana course here in Ireland, run by the Vipassana Ireland Association. and. I found it a wonderful experience because it did ju do just that. It immediately, right from the very first day, takes you away as quickly as possible from the intellectual and gets you in touch with pure sensation within the body. And immediately I felt I was on the right track. I'm not going to go into detail of how the Vipassana course is constructed because I feel, and after chatting with some of the other participants after the course, that it's better not knowing how the structure works so that you're freer and more open to the process as it opens up and unfolds in front of you as you, go, as you progress through the course. You're not allowed, I will say that during the course you're not, you're not allowed to speak with any of the other participants for the complete 10 days, you're not allowed eye contact. Um, no communication with other participants, so you're held within yourself, even though you're in a group context, you're held within yourself for the complete 10 days. And you explore yourself on a sensation level, you don't explore yourself intellectually. Um, the object, as S. N. Goenka explains, is to objectively observe every sensation, every everything around us. And those two words are what's stuck in my mind as to what I was allowing myself to do in my art practice. I was allowing myself with these images I was, I was receiving to just objectively observe. I was not feeling the need to attach myself to them. I was allowing these images to come, just record them, and then go through a meditative process and reproduce them, to bring them into existence. From this bank of ideas, creative ideas that are held within the universe, which just waits for an opportunity and a channel, looking for a channel to bring these ideas into existence. So I've discovered that I'm allowing myself to free myself up, to allow myself to become just a channel for these ideas to come into existence. But as a bonus from the course, I discovered a lot about myself and my, my own life. So I would recommend for anybody to, to do the course. It, um, it's a very, very, very inspirational course. And enjoy. <laughs>